All right, I'm going to show you real quick how to change the logo in Rock RMS. Um, you'll see it's found in two locations here on the login screen and here on the admin screen. And um, yeah, I'm just going to show you how to change that real quick. So um, that logo is if you FTP into your site, into if you're in Brute, you would go to Assets and then Images. Um, if you download that whole Images folder, you can actually see everything that's in it. It's a whole lot easier because you actually see the icons of the images. You're going to see these two, Rock Logo Circle White and Rock Logo Circle. So let's just open those two. These are SVG files, so I have to have a SVG file editors such as Adobe Illustrator, Inkscape, something like that. But um, you'll see here's the white one and here's the black one. Now, um, the way I did that, I'll show you real quick. I just took, so for us, we just do an H for our one letter logo. Um, so you're gonna make your, make your circle, make your logo, whatever it is, right click on your font and just create outlines so that it's a shape instead of a font. Select the two files together and if you were to go to Windows and Pathfinder, you'll see that this opens up and there is a minus front. You just click that and that'll punch that logo out of your circle and then you're just going to place it in its, in its place and file, save as, make sure that it's going in the correct folder, save as, okay, and you're going to do the exact same thing with your other one, just make it white, so we're going to take this one out, place our logo in, file, save as, same thing, make sure it's in the correct folder. Make sure you're saving it as an SVG. Now we're just going to FTP these two up to our site. And hit OK to replace the images that are already there. Now I find that sometimes if you're on a Mac, sometimes Safari it doesn't want to catch it right away. But here we have the house logo. And on the login screen, we have the house logo. You can see here, I accidentally got it a little bit too big. We can simple fix on that is by just resizing the image down to the correct the correct size save as replace it SVG and then just re-upload it ok to replace and then once you visit that again, you'll see that it's... Sometimes you have to empty the cache to get it to work, but that's how you replace it um, in both the login screen and on the admin screen. Hopefully that's helpful.